Welcome to the 2021 ASVAB Pratis test. This test has 25 questions with explained answers that will help you prepare for the test. Now let's get started. Q1. X plus 9 equals 13. Find X equals A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 13. The answer is A. Perform operations in parentheses first, then exponents, and then the remaining operations. Q2 A. 21 B. 36 C. 39 D. 40 The answer is D. Change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Carry out the operation by multiplying that well numerators and the two denominators. Q3 A B C D The answer is D. Change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Carry out the operation by multiplying that well numerators and the two denominators. Q4 The square root of 64 equals a. 4. B. Minus 8. C. 9. D. Minus 9. The answer is, B. Minus 8 times minus 8 equals 64. Q5. What is the value of the following expression if x equals 2 and y equals 4? A. 52. B. 106. C. 256 D 512 The answer is C Substitute 2 for x and 4 for y into the expression Multiply out the exponents Q6 Add A B C D The answer is D Q7 Factor the following expression A B C D The answer is B. Note the minus sign in the middle term and the plus sign in the third term. This should tell you that the factors will contain a minus sign in each term. In this problem, the fact that the two terms will have a minus sign should lead you to the correct answer, as only one answer has a minus sign in each term. However, not all questions of this type will have that kind of clue. Note that the first term in each factor will be y. Now you need to find two numbers that multiply to 48 and add to 16. Those numbers are 4 and 12. This gives the factors, y minus 4 y minus 12. Q8. A, x equals 1. B, x equals 2. C, x equals 4. D x equals 6. The answer is, A. To solve such problems, move all the terms with an unknown to one side of the equal sign and the numbers to the other. Q9. Solve for the two unknowns. A. Y equals 3, x equals 5. B. Y equals 4, x equals 6. C. Y equals 5, x equals 3. D y equals 6, x equals 2. The answer is, c. Set each equation equal to 0. Next, arrange one of the equations so that when it is subtracted from or added to the other equation, one of the terms becomes 0 and drops out of the equation. Next, solve for the remaining unknown. q10. a, x minus 4. b, x8. c x18 d x minus 16 the answer is c to divide numbers with exponents subtract the exponents in this problem subtract the 4 from the 12 leaving x8 as the correct answer q11 solve for y a y equals minus 5 y equals minus 2 b y equals 1 y equals minus 10 C. Y equals minus 2. Y equals 6. D. Y equals 5. Y equals minus 1. The answer is A. 
set the equation to equal 0. Q12. Multiply. A. B. C. D. The answer is, D. Multiply fractions, multiply the numerators and denominators. Q13. Divide. A. B. C. D. The answer is, B. To divide fractions, invert the second term and multiply. Q14. A. 3. B. 4. C. 5. D. 2.25. The answer is, A. The cube root is the number that, when multiplied by itself three times, results in the answer. In this instance, 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27, so the cube root of 27 equals 3. Q15. Solve for A B C D The answer is C. Isolate the variable of interest on one side of the equation. In this problem, you must multiply each side by H leaving g on the left side of the equation and h on the right side. Therefore, the answer is g equals a. Q16. Which of the following is an equilateral triangle? a. b. c. d. The answer is, d. An equilateral triangle has three equal sides and angles, so d is the correct answer. Q17. What is the perimeter of the following rectangle? A 12 meters. B 18 meters. C 24 meters. D 12 meters. The answer is, C. To find the perimeter of a quadrilateral, add the lengths of the four sides. In this instance, 9 meters plus 9 meters plus 3 meters plus 3 meters plus 24 meters, the correct answer. Q 18. What is the circumference of the following circle? A 6.56 meters. B 12.56 meters. C 25.12 meters. D 35.12 meters. The answer is, C. The formula for the circumference of a circle is pi d. The figure gives the radius, which is one half the length of the diameter. To find the diameter, multiply the radius by 2. In this problem, the diameter is 8 meters. Multiplying 8 by pi gives the correct answer of 25.12 meters. Q19. In the following equilateral triangle, what is the measure of 1? A 30 degrees. B 45 degrees. C 60 degrees. D 90 degrees. The answer is, C. An equilateral triangle has three equal angles. A triangle has a total of 180 degrees, so each angle must be 60 degrees. 20. If 1 is 34 degrees, what is the measure of 2? A 56 degrees. B 110 degrees. C 146 degrees. D 180 degrees. The answer is, C. A straight line or straight angle is 180 degrees. So if 1 is 34 degrees, 2 is the difference between 180 degrees and 34 degrees, or 146 degrees. Q21. In the following right triangle, what is the length of side ab? A 3 meters. B 5 meters. C 7 meters. D 12 meters. The answer is, B. C is a right angle, so you can employ the Pythagorean theorem. Q22. What is the area of the following triangle? A. 8 ft squared. B. 12 ft squared. C. 15 ft squared. D. 16 ft squared. The answer is, D. This is a right triangle, so 4 feet is the height of the triangle and 8 feet is the base. The formula for the area of a triangle is half bh. Q23. What is the diameter of the following circle? A 40 centimeters. B 80 centimeters. 
C 160 cm. D 640 cm. The answer is, C. The diameter is 2R. R equals 80 cm, so the diameter is 160 cm. Q24. If lines A and B are parallel and are intersected by line C and 2 is 30 degrees, what is the measure of 7? A 30 degrees. B 50 degrees. C 112 degrees. D 130 degrees. The answer is, A. 2 and 7 are alternate exterior angles and therefore are equal in measure. So both 2 and 7 are 30 degrees. Q25. What is the volume of a cylinder with a height of 15 meters and a radius of 5 meters? A 235.50 cubic meters. B. 1. 177.50 cubic meters. C. 1. 280.25 cubic meters. D. 1. 340.25 cubic meters. The answer is, B. The formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is V equals R squared H. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe for more practice test.